from Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to Home and Family. Also with us today, world-respected decorative painter, creator of the signature brand Chalk Paint, and she is the author of the new book called Color Recipes for Painted Furniture. Oh, and I love more. that. Please welcome to the show, uh, Annie Sloan is here. Yeah. Hi, Annie. <laughs> Thank you. There's the book. Here. <laughs> I love your your idea. We were discussing earlier how you actually in the book talk about <laughs> mixing colors as well. Oh, I'm big one on that. I'm really very keen that people know not just how to use the paint from the pot, but how to mix colors and make the color that they want to do. I think it's really important. Let's take a look at a couple of photos that, that we want to share with the audience. This is a bed that you... Uh, you have. Do we have that? That, that yes. bed is um, a special bed. A very strong. Wow. This is all. All the book is uh, done in my house in France. Oh, how beautiful! Which is uh, a, it's a country place in in the north of France in Normandy, and the whole place goes from these strong, strong colours and boho chic is what I call it. Lots of different styles there. So I've gone from boho chic to another room which is very French and very soft and beautiful and quiet colours, and that's what I. Love love to do to show lots of different styles and my book's all about projects that you can do that are really 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 easy well we look forward to doing that later on and we also want to share with our audience you picked a really good day to come here because today you're also going to be getting a copy of the book oh. yeah. <laughs> how many of, the, did any of you out there ever get gel manicure All right, so we are here with Annie Sloan. She's one of the world's most respected experts in the field of decorative painting, often given the title of a paint legend. Annie has written over 20 books with more than two, uh, with more than two million copies sold in 11 different languages. Mm -hmm. Her new book is called Color Recipes for Painted Furniture and More. It came, just came out this month. Sitting right this, here. There it is. Oh. I've already been through it. It's it, really lovely. Yeah, there's some wonderful Great stuff book. in here. We're talking about, first of all, chalk paint, not to be confused with chalkboard paint. Nothing to do with chalkboard no. paint at all. This no. is just the name. It's, I made this paint in 1990, and I was, after making a name for it, which was about the texture of the paint. Ah. And the texture of the paint is very chalky and very soft, and so I called it chalk, chalk paint. paint. So it's we're gonna take just beautiful. a sort of drab piece of furniture. Yeah. Uh, which is I don't weird. tend to judge furniture, but I'm gonna call this one drab. And it was drab, it's very Well, it plain. doesn't look yeah. it now, because no. it's been chalk painted. Yeah, it's, it's been, been painted. Chalk painted. It was drab when we started. Yeah, it was okay. a piece of cheap furniture, to be frank. And it wasn't great. It's a very nasty texture. It was dark brown, very plain, not a nice wood at all. And, you know, that's the whole thing that you're going to be painting, but usually. You didn't sand this first, no. or it doesn't need priming. No, that's the great thing about the paint. You don't need to prime it. You don't need to sand it. You can paint it directly. It, it can be a new piece. It can be an old piece. It could have been waxed. It could have been varnished. It could be metal. Ooh. It could be plastic, certain plastics. You can paint fabric. You can do everything. You can Ooh. paint fabric? You can. You can paint yeah. fabric. Okay, okay. Wow. So this is like the mystery paint. This There's is... like some space age stuff. How do you do that? How can you paint on it and not sand? And... Well, yeah, it's or put a just... gloss on it. Yeah. yeah. But, well, need... the big thing at the end of it, after you've painted it, what you have to do is, is wax it because the waxing seals it in. And that's the whole thing. And I just decided I needed a paint. There was no other paint like it at the time. I wanted a paint that I could do quickly because mm -hmm. I was a busy mum with three kids, little ones, and I wanted to be able to paint furniture, get it done in the morning, right. finish it, and put it back in the room in the afternoon because that's what you want right, to do. Right, exactly. Well, where where do you find, can you get this paint at, like at paint stores? Uh, no, we don't sell in paint stores. What we sell is one of the things I'm very, very proud of. We only sell in small independent shops. I don't like, um, I love the fact, because I used to be, I still actually have a small independent shop and I thought that you know these people are so important they're very passionate about what they do they give tremendous service um, they have lots of ideas and different styles and I thought that's what I want to do I don't want to be selling in the big paint stores we did try it and it doesn't work because someone goes well I don't know don't get it whereas the person in the little shop goes they understand yeah, let it. me tell you uh -huh. about it and it does this and they run workshops and they do all sorts of things 
There's a variety of colors overall that you offer. How yeah. many? We only actually we don't do a huge number, and that's one of the things that we also like because the point is that you can mix colors. And I'm very keen on helping people. And actually, it's in the book there about mixing colors. And you mix this beautiful things. blue because I yeah. assume it came from this beautiful that's dark right. blue. Yeah. And you put some white in there. And yeah. Look how pretty. This and he made out. a, a paler blue. blue. And I th see one of the things is you might get home from the paint store having bought it, and you go, actually, I want it to be lighter. Well, you yeah. just add a little. A bit more the white. Yeah, exactly. How come I'm, I'm not smelling it? I mean, I, it doesn't, well, it doesn't. It doesn't smell. smell like paint pee. No, There's no, no, I don't like smell fumes. anything. No. That's the thing of. But it's I water based, it. so you can it wash. Like, you no, can. No, you it can. Looks <laughs> delicious. It looks good enough to eat. I'm no. telling you. Okay. <laughs> I just had that wonderful pasta, so I'm, I'm a little well, full right now. Oh, yeah. I'll, try it. I'll try it later on in the show. Uh, all right, uh, we're going to step away for a, a, a quick commercial break. When we come back, though, we have signature looks that's in your line, and Annie's yes, going to show us and create a two color uh, distressing finish on this. As you get started already, we'll come back. All right, we're back here with Annie Sloan. We were talking about this chalk paint that she created that you don't need sanding or priming or right. anything to do with it, so it is from outer space, isn't it? Not exactly, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was a paint maker. I used to make a lot of my own paint because I was very, very keen on paint. I had an art background, and I knew the techniques I wanted it to do. I wanted it to be very soft. I wanted it to be absorbent. I wanted it to be very flexible. I knew all these things about it. So I was very lucky to find a really fantastic family paint firm, paint making factory. This they, beginning, it was in Belgium, but now, of course, I have it made in America, in Kansas, in fact. But um, now, uh, then I, I tried to, uh, I worked with someone and I said, this is what I want, and we just kept doing it again and again until it did what I wanted it to do. Well, what do you, you want this to do? This? What, yeah. what, this is the what the, the, it looked like before. This is the wood before. So uh -huh. I've done it on all three sides, so I can explain the whole technique. But it's um, very rough and it's got a yes, bit of a varnish it on it. I don't know what it is. Now, the whole thing is you stir it nicely. And then um, this is a great brush. It's, um, it's one of my brushes. Um, it's the, round. The, it's like a it's round oval, oval brush. It's yeah. very nice. Now, one of the things you'll notice about the way I paint, I don't do this all carefully. Now, why not? Um, it's, it just gets it on quicker. And it's, okay. every, you know, my whole thing is about getting painting quickly. As I said, you know, I'm I, art background, but also I was a busy mum. <laughs> so I wanted to get it done quickly, and I didn't want to mess about. Sure. So How long does this paint take to dry? Oh, it'll be dry in about 10 minutes. Oh. Yeah, very right. quickly. And I want also a little bit of texture. Um, this is a particularly dark and a particularly rough piece of wood. It covers so it beautifully, though. It covers it well, thank yeah. you. But it sometimes covers it in one. This time, I don't think it's going to quite cover it in one. Often, I say it covers in one and a half times oh, because okay. I'll go back. But some of this will almost be dry again, so I'll go back into it. So it covers well. And I'm going to, I, I quite like there to be a little bit of uneven texture. OK, right. so done all those there. Okay. So and now I want to paint, so it's a two layer thing I'm okay. doing, this is my special thing. And now I'm going to turn this around and put that one to the side. And I'm going to get my second colour. Which is your blue. This one I already have done. Now this time I'm using a different brush. You could be using my brush, but this time I thought I'd just use this one to show you don't have to have a special brush. It's just really rather nice, that's all. So, <laughs> so now um, I'm stirring it nicely and putting the brush in, and now I'm going to paint. This time um, I'm going to paint it a little bit more smoothly, not quite as rough as the first time. The first time I was being deliberately trying to get a bit of texture. So this time I'm just going to go every which way um, and covering it completely all over. I'm doing it with my left hand, which is maybe a little bit awkward. Well, I'm left-handed. Do you want to step in? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm yeah, done. Okay. So what I would do is probably do the, the all the front and leave inside maybe with the green. I'm not sure, okay. but that's something you would develop as you go. So now it needs to be rotated. So right. this is, I did this earlier, and you'll see that I've actually, i waxed a little bit, because the next bit, can you pass me the wax? Sure. That's it there. Now this is my very special clear wax. It looks white, 
Now I need a cloth. You've got. Here's a. a you need one. this cloth. It's a little one yeah. there. Oh, you want the one rugged one? There. Yeah. Mm. No, it's gone. Is there one? Did it disappear? Disappeared. Huh. Okay, oh. I'll just have you know that what? One. They have legs around here. They, they do. do. <laughs> yes. Um, they take off. I'll have that soft one if you don't. This mind. one. On there. All right. That's lovely. Now I this is you're waxing it soft. with. What kind this of wax? This is my is that? clear wax. Okay. It's, um, it's very soft and very easy. Now sometimes I'll put it on with a brush, and we do have wax brushes. Mm. But today I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it on with a, a cloth, and I'm doing it. Um, just oh, rubbing it that. in, and it's going a yeah. little bit darker, but what it's doing is I rub, um, sometimes it's going to bring some of the green from underneath, uh -huh. but also what I'll do is I'm going to go across, right across there. The other thing is to now get a little bit of sandpaper out. Sometimes, there are lots of different techniques that I use. Sometimes I don't wax it first, I uh -huh. wax it after, but this time, oh, bit thick there, I'm going to get my sandpaper. So now we're taking a little bit of that top layer off to reveal that green underneath, but exactly. just give a little bit of that worn look. Exactly. So we're looking at, this is 220. This yeah, is what, that's uh, a nice the, one. the grade. So it's that. very kind of it's organic, like, oh yeah. yeah. I right. love this mixture of the green and the sure. The well, blue. we're gonna I'll tell you what. We're gonna let you out here and do a little bit of work. Oh, thanks. And yeah. uh, <laughs> we want to see. No, we want to see this at the end of the show and see what it looks like okay. when we're all Brilliant. finished. And you can uh, find out more about Annie and her new book at chalkpaint at AnnieSloan dot com. And it's yeah, right. All right. Okay. AnnieSloan dot com. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, right. You did it. So sorry. No, no that's, that's all right. right. That's all right. We want to make sure we get it correct. Up next, we're heading back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. Asparagus, asparagus and yes. risotto.